Hi, I'm Dead Secrets, and in this series of videos, I'm going to be going over some essential house tech tips. I'm going to be going over some common techniques used in making house music, some plugins that are used quite a bit to get certain sounds, and then also some common patterns for your drums, your basses, your synths, things like that. But first off, a little bit of history on house music. Now, house music is quite a broad term with so many different subgenres, so many that it's actually hard to keep up most of the time. But house music generally has a massive, massive pool of different sounds. Now, house music kind of started in the early 80s when two things happened. First off, there was this kind of backlash against disco music. It went underground for a while. And also around about that time, a lot of manufacturers were making these kind of cheaper style drum machines, synths and things like that. And that's this, this kind of fusion between those two things kind of created house music. Now, it was kind of born out of Chicago and that's kind of where it got its name. It was a new type of music that was being played at a club called The Warehouse. The most recent contribution to the American music scene is how it got its name. So-called house music was first made in the creator's houses, but it was also performed at clubs called The Warehouse and Powerhouse. However it got its name, it's one of the hottest things going, and as Jay Levine reports, it may only be a matter of time before house musicians become heroes in their own home. <laughs> They started playing house music at this Michigan Avenue hotel and health club last summer, and they've been packing them in ever since. It's the first time house has escaped the south side dance clubs or north side juice bars for a more upscale audience, though it's still a long way from sweeping the city. But in London, house has made it to the top of the pops faster than anything since the Beatles. All right, listen, we got a new number one. You tell them about it. Steve Silk Hurley. Now, the DJs back then were Ron Hardy and Frankie Knuckles. They used to play there regularly. And actually, Frankie Knuckles kind of described house music as disco's revenge. Obviously, disco has gone underground. And this is kind of the resurgence of disco, but in kind of a new form. There were quite a lot of producers in Chicago making this style of house music and being played at this club. And technology really kind of drove that kind of sound. The producers in the area couldn't really afford those more expensive drum machines and synths. So they were kind of looking for cheaper alternatives. And at that point, for example, uh, one bit of kit actually was on discount because it wasn't selling very well. That was the Roland 909. And this is pretty much one of the most classic sounds within house music. The kick, the clap, the hats. It really, as soon as you hear it, you know it's kind of house music. It's that kind of classic kind of sound. So a lot of kind of house music was based around that. And also a lot of other technology that kind of came around, a lot of other synths and keyboards and things like that also gave sound to a lot of other areas of house music. For example, the Korg M1. This is such a legendary keyboard synth and some of the patches within it really kind of led to a whole load of subgenres. For example, the piano patches are just iconic. They didn't sound kind of realistic. They didn't sound like real pianos. They sounded like this kind of new style of piano, a bit more hollow, but it just worked for house music. And that kind of really spurred and kind of created this piano house kind of movement and even like this kind of Italo house kind of sound as well. Not to mention one of the most famous organ patches of all time. That also came from the M1 as well. Show me love and th that bass line from that track pretty much I wouldn't say it was the first time that that patch was used, but it certainly kind of then made it popular. And honestly, the M1 organ is still used up to this day. Now, there's a whole load of other equipment at this time that kind of gave new directions to house music. For example, the Roland 303. It was this dinky little mono sequencer synthesizer and it had this kind of squelchy kind of sound. That squelchy kind of sound gave birth to Acid House. It really kind of gave it its sound and that was kind of the basis of so many Acid House tracks. And then also you had the other synths like the Junos. The Juno 106, for example, is a legendary synth and it had this deeper kind of sound, the keys, the chords, things like that. 
really have this wonderful warm kind of sound and again that's where kind of deep house kind of came from it got diverted off of this main kind of house music route and it went more of a kind of deeper kind of realm so it was really about the technology of the time. There's lots of different synths and drum machines that kind of created that sound, and we can still hear that kind of sound today. Now, you don't need to jump on eBay to kind of get hold of these original synths. They're going to be going for quite a bit of money, and a lot of them have seen better days. But luckily, most of these synths have been replicated in plug-in form, so we can actually get hold of these, whether they're done by the original manufacturer or their third-party ones that have been done to make sound like it. You can even get synths that are actually sampled the original synths themselves. So yeah, there's lots of different ways that we can get that kind of sound. And in the next few videos, I'm going to be kind of exploring some of those, some of those sounds and how to get them. For example, how to get those original kind of house music kind of drums, how to get work with the M1 organ, for example, and a whole load of other tips to help you kind of really craft that house music sound. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate the support from you guys. If you liked this video, then you know, smash that like button. And if you want to be notified about new content, hit the subscribe and the bell notifications. Peace!